Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video of problem of the day Geeks for Geeks series. In this particular video, I will explain the problem Boolean matrix. Guys, this particular problem is really interesting and asked by Microsoft. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. Now, I would like to call it an easy problem instead of medium problem. You just need to figure out one logic guys. Once you have understood that your task is done, you are going to write the optimal solution, right? So starting with the problem statement, so it's very straightforward guys. It says that you are given a Boolean matrix of size R cross C. R is the rows, C is the columns, right? After this, each cell contains 0 and 1. So as this is a Boolean matrix, so we can have either 0 or 1. Now our task is to modify it such that if cell matrix of ij contains 1, then all its cell in the i row and j column is going to become 1, right? Now guys, let me explain. Let's say we have given a matrix and somewhere in this matrix, I have value 1, right? So guys, every other value in the same column, every other value in the same column, let's say j and in the same row is going to become 1, right? Now, this is what the problem asks us to do. So, one example is given here. You can see that we are given a 2 by 2 matrix. So, for this matrix, I have 1, 0 and then 0, 0, right? Now, guys, see, I have value 1 here. This means that in this particular row, I have to make every value as 1 and in this particular column, I have to make every value as 1. After modifying it, this is how the matrix will look like. Now, guys, I am simply going to return this particular output here. You can see that. Now, let me take one more example so that the understanding will become more clear because uh, I am going to take a greater example now. So first of all, let me erase this so that I can get some space guys. Now, uh, let's say I have a 3 by 3 matrix. I have 0, 0, 0, then 0, 1, 1, then uh, I have 0, 0, 0 again. For this matrix guys, see, uh, I have to make this particular column and this particular column filled by 1 because I have 1 here and I have to make this row filled by 1, right? So when I modify it, then I will have 0, then 1, 1, then 0, 1, 1, then I will have, okay, uh, not 0 guys. Because this is the second column, so I have to write 1 here. After this 0, then 1 and 1, right? So this is the modified matrix that we have, guys. Once you have understood this, we can talk about the solution now. So now, moving on to the solutions. Okay, so I have written one example here. And see, guys, according to the problem, if I have 1 here, so I have to make 1 in this particular column and this particular row, right? And if I have 1 here, so for this row as well, I have to make the column filled by 1 and I have to make row filled by 1. This is how we have to solve the problem, right? So, see guys, uh, if you are very new to the coding and a naive programmer, so this is something that you will try to write as the first approach, right? What you are doing is you are iterating over the matrix. If matrix of ij equal to 1, then simply make all that column all that row and column filled by one right but this is very common mistake that students generally do and this approach is wrong guys this approach is wrong so avoid doing these particular mistakes let me tell you why this approach is wrong right so see let's say i have a matrix and i'm going to take the same matrix i have 0 0 0 and 0 1 0 then i have 0 0 1 so now you can see that first i will come to this one and i will make value 1 here 1 here 1 here and 1 here right after this i will come to this value so again you can see that it is going to check matrix of ij equal to 1 but this is actually not 1 Originally, this was 0, right? So, we have to track, uh, we have to keep track of original value and the copied value as well. So, in order to do this, I will make a copy matrix, guys. What I'll do is, I'll simply make a copy matrix and copy matrix is going to be the exact copy of the given matrix that we have. And we are going to check every condition from the copy matrix and we are going to modify the given matrix. So, I'm going to write copy matrix here. And now, this approach is all correct. And see, guys. Talking about the time complexity of this approach, so time complexity is O of n because of this loop, then O of m because of this loop, n is basically number of rows and m is basically number of columns. Then for this, for this, see, uh, m running over the uh, like m and n both rows and columns, so O of max of n comma m. This is what the complexity of this particular loop is. So the total complexity will be O of n cross m cross max of uh same max of n comma m right this is the complexity so uh like based on the conditions what we have the complexity can be o of n square m or o of m square n right what we take our, our max out of these values it totally depends on this particular thing now i want you to understand one thing that this approach will not get accepted 
not accepted what is the reason this will not get accepted guys this th this is something that i can explain with the given constant so you can see that in the worst case uh, like okay let me open this in the worst case uh, the constant are basically i have 1 2 1000 the value of rows and column is going to vary from 1 to 1000 so in worst case i can have 1000 value so let's say in this is the worst case and i have value as 1000 right so you can see that if i have n equals to 1000 and m equals to 1000 so this will be n square m will be 1000 into 1000 into 1000 and this is something which is 10 raised to the power 9 right but see guys in the online side the compiler only allows to perform 10 raised to the power 8 operations per second so this approach will not get accepted because of this reason now we have to think of a solution which is not more than o of n cross m right because in that case only i will be having 10 raised to the power 6 if i have n as uh, 1000 and m as 1000 right so now guys let's talk about the optimal approach see optimal approach is quite interesting guys what i'll do is i'll simply iterate over this particular matrix so let's say uh, first of all let me write the code i have i equals to zero then i smaller than n then i plus plus okay and uh, now guys uh, i think instead of writing n i have to write r because it makes more sense right after this i have one more loop j equals to zero then j is smaller than column then j plus plus inside this loop i will simply do one thing that if my matrix of ij equal to 1 guys just hold on for a second because uh, i am writing something and i will definitely explain why i am writing this so now guys see uh, first of all let me raise this if i have matrix of ij equals to 1 so instead of making all the values 1 in this row and this column i will store this row and column somewhere so i will store the row 1 and column 1 here let me write row equals to 1 and column equals to 1 why i'm storing because i'm simply storing for the later use like i will say that okay i have to make every value in the first row as the one right okay so i will do it later first of all let me store this now i will come to this one because while iterating over the matrix this is the second condition where this particular condition will, will become true right so guys what is the row what is the column here so you can see that row is 2 and column is 2 so this basically means that we have to make first row and the second row filled by one and we have to make first column and second column filled by one right so guys this is the first thing and let's say if this is a set or a like uh, like if it is a set or a boolean array right so if this is a boolean array which is uh, initially filled by zero so let me write false here false here then false then false right so what i'll do is i just need to denote guys which row or column i have to fill by one right so i have multiple methods of doing it i can either use set i just want you to understand the idea behind the solution once you have understood this you can do with this uh, set as well and you can do with uh, the boolean matrix as well right so okay my bad boolean array as well so this is basically a boolean array which is row rows and i have similarly i have boolean arrays which is column right so this is also filled by false false and false but see guys according to this particular condition the first and second row i have and column i have to make one right so i will write true here now because now these value are going to be true so i'll write true then true here as well and for the columns as well so let me erase this and let me write true here so i'll simply say that okay i have to fill these columns by one now guys i will again i iterate over the matrix so what first of all what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to make this smaller so that i can get some space so now uh let me move it here let me move it here and okay there is no option to make it smaller guys so let me write uh below this let me write here so see guys now i have to iterate the matrix again so i'll simply say that for i equals to zero then i is smaller than n then i plus plus right after this i have to iterate over columns as well so for j equals to zero then j is smaller than n then j plus plus now guys observe one thing here let's say somewhere at any point in time i am at this particular pace right so i want you to notice one thing here that this particular cell is basically uh this cell is basically one and two right one is basically the row and two is basically the column so you can see that according to the uh this particular these particular arrays i have to make the first row uh filled by one and even second column filled by one so i will make this 
value as 1 right so this is very important to understand now let's say I am here at any point in time so you can see that this particular condition or uh, this particular index is basically 1 comma 0 now you can see that I have row as 1 right and I know I have to fill the row by uh, 1 so whenever either my row or either my column is true in these particular uh, arrays so I have to fill that particular uh, cell with 1 so I'll say that okay uh, if if my rows of i is equal to true is equal to true or my columns of j is equal to true in that particular case I will simply say that okay matrix of ij ij is equal to 1 quite simple right so guys this is all we need to do I want you to understand this particular thing carefully that first of all I am storing the values then while iterating I am checking whether that particular cell belongs to a row or a column that I have to fill by one right this is what I am doing so once you have done this your task is done guys O of n cross m for this and O of n cross m for this so the total time complexity is going to be time complexity will be O of n cross m and space complexity will be O of n plus m why i am writing n plus m guys because you can see that uh, i have this particular space which is o of n space and this particular space which is o of m space and actually guys we are given r and c here so i have to write in terms of r and c so this will be nothing but r cross c and this is r plus c right so guys this is all you need to understand about the uh, solution now let me quickly show you the code so I have written the code here guys this is the code in Java and Python and this is the code in C++ so it's, you can see that guys uh, first we are declaring n and m as the rows and columns then we have these two matrices and I am filling the default value false here after this see guys I am simply iterating over the given matrix and then I am making the rows i and column of j as true uh, so that I can use that later right so if matrix of i j equals to 1 then I will simply make that particular row and column true in this particular uh, array after this I will simply iterate over the matrix again and I will check this condition if this is the condition then uh, it is simply going to make the matrix value as 1 right this is the implementation in Java and this is the implementation in Python now guys I hope you have understood everything related to this particular problem so this is all about this video thank you